Hello everyone, Dr. Joel Schwartz here. I'm a chiropractic physician and I practice in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Today I want to talk to you about the condition that is called andropause. Andropause is also known as male menopause. And the characteristics of andropause are really a decrease in the three V's, namely vigor, vitality, and virility. Now you don't have to have all three, any combination of the three will suffice you to possibly having andropause. So let me explain first where we got the term andropause. Andropause comes from the term androgenic hormones, okay? Andro means male, gene uh, genetic, gen genetic means genesis, so it's male genesis. These are the hormones that give men their male characteristics. And what you see here is all the pathway of male hormones laid out, all of them, okay? Now, on television and in the newspapers, in the media, you're going to see uh, low T advertised a lot. In other words, low testosterone. And they will tell you that if you have these symptoms of the decreased uh, three Vs, it may be due to a low T or low testosterone count. And all you need to do is go to your doctor, get your testosterone level measured, and then take testosterone and everything will be fine. Well, it's not that simple. Um, let me tell you why. Here's testosterone in the pathway. Now, if you take testosterone in some men, that can convert to dihydrotestosterone, and that can cause prostate enlargement and also male pattern baldness. Now, another thing that can happen if you take testosterone is it can convert to estradiol in this pathway. And estradiol is a female hormone generally, okay, and that can give you breast enlargement, okay. So just giving testosterone may not be the answer. In some men it may work, but in some it may not. Now, just to tell you a little bit more about some of these hormones, estrone and estradiol are generally female hormones, but they are needed by men. Some estrogens are needed just to kickstart this whole male pathway. So you have to have some there, but you have to have the right amount. Progesterone also is known mainly as a female hormone. Okay, but if men don't have enough progesterone, and it's mainly made by men in the adrenal glands, if you don't have enough progesterone, then your DHT level can go up, giving you again prostate hypertrophy prostate hypertrophy. So all these hormones have to be in balance. That's the point. And you can't just test testosterone. You have to test all of them, okay? So the best way to do that is with a saliva test. A saliva test actually tests all these hormones simultaneously, tells the level of all of them, and then with that information, you can devise a treatment plan that will balance all this thing out because the, tr the key is balance. You don't want too much testosterone or too much dehydrotestosterone, you want the right amounts. So that's what we do in our office. We test these with saliva, get all, your, all the information, and then we devise a treatment plan that is basically diet, herbal, and nutrient treatments, and exercise to help you balance this. And that, I think, is the best way to first look at this before you think about taking testosterone. Of course, in some cases, testosterone will be needed, but this is a very safe and accurate way of looking at it first. So if you have any questions, please, my contact information uh, is at the end of the video. Please don't hesitate to call me. I'll be glad to answer your questions.